Hey everybody, today we're talking about the bottom position of the push-up. Um, how do people mess it up and what can you do to fix it? So big things are you're looking for the shoulder position. The scapula needs to come around the rib cage as the elbow comes back like that. If my rib cage is locked or my scapula, my shoulder blade is locked and it can't come back like this, then what happens is it stays forward and I get extra motion out of my actual shoulder joint rather than the whole thing just kind of coming backward. What that looks like. So it looks good if I do it this way, right? My shoulder is oriented backward and I'm not placing too much extra stress on that joint. And if it looks bad and I don't bring my whole shoulder blade back, it looks more like this. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to mess that up, but I think I did it pretty well. Um, you'll see the shoulder blade tip forward. You'll see the uh, front of the shoulder kind of poke forward. Some people have irritated bicep tendons. The front of their shoulder gets really tender. Um, some people have labral issues in their uh, shoulder joint. Uh, there's just... It's all sorts of bad stuff, <laughs> right? So the, the first fix is you got to know how to row. If I can't row, let me turn. If I can't row and get my shoulder blade back, then I can't expect my, you know, it, it's maybe equally hard to coordinate the eccentric on a push-up. Okay, so I like to try to start with the concentric, the rowing motion and try to figure it out. And I might even just keep your arms straight and just move your shoulder blade like this. Okay, so this is kind of step one. Can I do this? Step two is can I do this and then bend my elbow back and we try to do it again. I like to start by breaking it up into steps. Do this and this kind of really rigid. And then after you start to get it, you try to smooth it out. Okay. Um, then you can go into the push-up variation and you can think, I want to row myself down to the ground as I'm doing this. Big uh, issues outside of that. If, if I can't seem to get it or I can't seem to get, like I have a lot of motion in this. Um, some people don't move, their, their shoulder blade doesn't move that much. In that case, I'm going to limit the depth of the push-up. So I'm not going to make you come all the way down like this because you're just forcing yourself into positions that your shoulder doesn't want to be in and it doesn't make any sense. So instead, you might just stop somewhere about here. Okay, and that is fixing the bottom position of the push-up.